Hello everyone and welcome to Respectful Dave. In today's video I'm going to talk about a problem and addiction that follows many chess players and those chess players say, oh man, why am I not improving? What's, what am I doing wrong? Which is bullet. You have different time controls in chess when you're playing online. Um, for instance, you have Rapid, which is the one I recommend. I will talk about that later. You have Blitz, which is quicker, and you have Bullet, which is the quickest. If you're rated below 2000 and you want to improve in chess, don't play Bullet. I'm going to show you my Bullet games, and the quality of chess is pretty bad. So, look at this. I'm, uh, we're, we're developing our pieces. We're, we're playing in a very fast way because it's Bullet. If not, we're going to flag. Um, I blunder a pawn on B2 with check, so white is already worse. I lost, lose another pawn. My position is hop, I mean, absolutely horrible. Um, I lost more pieces, more pawns. I sacrifice this. Everything's not working. I'm in an absolute lost position. And um, I keep playing, I keep playing, and um, the clock is ticking for my opponent. And eventually, uh, I get to this position where I'm down a bishop, and I win on time. So I win. Once again, we were playing fast, and, and we're playing the opening, and I... I Actually, I, I played this g4 move, which is nonsense. Uh, it's weakening the dark source more than anything else. Um, I attack the queen here, and then they attack our queen. Uh, this is actually the only good thing about this game. Um, that that whole four sequence of moves, that was the only thing. But eventually we reach this endgame, which I end up not uh, converting, because I had an extra pawn. And we get to this endgame, where it's equal. Black should be able to draw this, right? I mean, white is the one pushing because of the extra pawn. And eventually, yeah, we reach this, and after giving some checks and playing some tricks, I end up winning once again because of time. So black, of course, has rook a6, and this is a draw, but I win on time. You're getting the point now, but I'm going to show you some games where it happened to me. So, for instance, yeah, we're playing this quick um, schematic opening as black. We trade pieces, we have an absolutely fine position. We're trying to make the most of it. We uh, get, get a pawn, we, we have a slightly better endgame, and eventually white gets back some material, we get to this endgame equal as well, and eventually I just fail to play as quick as my opponent, and I get a bishop, but it's not enough, because after this, I eventually flag. So my opponent wins. By now you understood this completely, but last one. I play this opening, um, I get a horrible position, but eventually I somehow survive. Um, do you see that move? I play bishop d4, I mean, that's horrible chess, you're not gonna learn anything from this. And um, yeah, eventually I just somehow go back into the game, and some sacrifices later I, I kind of survive, but it's not about the position anymore, it's about the time, and in this position it's an absolute draw, but... I lost on time. David, what, what are you saying with this video? Are you are, are you just criticizing Bullet? As I said, if you want to have fun, Bullet is fine. But if you want to improve, what I recommend, and what many people recommend, is not Bullet, but Rapid. Look at this game and look at the difference between the Bullet games that we already saw and this game. So we open up with d4, d5, knight c3, bishop f4. Very respectful Jababa London. It's not objectively worse, it's just not the most principled. Our opponent castles, um, sorry, we castle, our opponent develops pieces, everything's pretty nice. Bishop b4 happens, queen e1, avoiding knight e4, so this is prophylaxis. Knight e4 happens anyway, bishop d2, so that's why we put the queen on d2. Everything's pretty, pretty good. In a bullet game, many people would have blundered this, would have played h3, and then knight e4 comes and you're in trouble. So, this happens, then we play e3 with the white pieces, we develop our bishop, now g4, not a trick move, this is very respectful because you want to open up the g file for your pieces. Your opponent takes, 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 everything's pretty good. No blunders, no pieces hanging. Knight b4 came, a5, black goes for a counter, counter attack in the queen side, a4 stopping the... So do you see how this is all, like it makes sense, you can learn from it. And if you're playing this, you're going forward, you're not... You're not. You're learning the right things. You're learning that chess is a strategical game where you have to take your time. You have to planify. You have to understand your opponent's resources. Um, and yeah, you you get my point. This game is meaningful. Black ends up taking some pawns, but White is happy because White is opening lines towards the king. And in fact, Rook takes f7 is already getting pretty close to the king. Knight d3. And this is already a mistake. If Black, if Black, well, sorry, Black was hoping for c 
c takes d3 and then queen takes b2 but after knight takes d3 white sacrifices the rook on f7 if king takes then it's scary against queen d7 so queen d6 is played and then rook f1 and then knight e5 and and then black loses the pawn and it was a very interesting battle where black tried everything to attack in the in the queen side but didn't work out so black resigns no no flagging no no maybe one blunder from black side but other than that everything was logical you learn from it and you even if you lose this game you 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 learn something you win or lose lose in rapid you're going to learn something so that's my point i think bullet there's no way you should should play if you're not um if you want to learn i should say thank you very much for watching please let me know if you have any questions in the comments as as usual and as usual, sorry, have a nice day.